it sounds. It's snowing. We miss you and we wish you were here. I feel like I am.
You forget about us, Tommy? Please, I just want to stay. How many times are we going to do this? I belong here. that sooner. Forgot I had it. On to the next one. Oh, his can be loving. I need you to be brave, okay? Gotta go. Boys can be shy. Boys can be sad. Why are you crying? Boys don't cry, right, honey? Be a big boy, please. Boys can be self-conscious. Boys can be intelligent. Can't be afraid. Boys can't be gentle. I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, isn't this just boys being boys? Can't be weak. Boys can't be timid. Boys can't be hurt. can't look soft. Boys can't be powerless. Because boys don't cry. For years, advertisers have warned of fatal impacts on the human body. But it's nothing compared to the impact on those who create these commercials. The advertising industry has been working itself to exhaustion. We've become desensitized to dangerously long hours, self-induced stress, and rampant alcoholism. The human body doesn't have the physiology to withstand the impact of a career in advertising. And with burnout at an all-time high, we needed a new way to talk to people.
demonstrate how the human body would need to change to survive the trauma of a career in advertising, we created a fully interactive model. Complete with ears that filter out conflicting opinions. Unusually thick skin to deflect scathing comments on campaign brief. An auxiliary liver to process copious amounts of alcohol. Smaller than average genitals, giving him something to compensate for. A completely removable spine for client meetings. And of course, Grant is a white male. We then toured Grant around the country to agencies where advertising burnout is most prevalent, educating young advertisers on the reality of their chosen career. Within 24 hours, Grant had become an instant phenomenon. And the results. Reminding us all of the fragility of our egos.